Hello everyone. So today I just have a couple of errands to run and I just got an alert on my phone saying that we're going to get a really bad snowstorm. Um, we're, well, I have two different estimates, I guess, of how bad it's supposed to be. Um, one of them say three to five inches, the other says five to eight inches, so who really knows? So I'm going to go pick up um, an extra night or two of dinner, um, just because we're going to run out conveniently right when the snow, um, right when it starts snowing really bad, so I'm going to go do that, and then I have a return to make at TJ Maxx which I left in the apartment, so I have to go get that again. It's just my life. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you guys this lip gloss. I don't know if you can really see it. Anyways, it's just a buxom lip gloss, but um, it's in the shade Katie, and I really like it a lot. It makes my lips, um, first of all, it's a lip plumper, but it makes my lips feel super moisturized. And it just gives a really healthy, um, glossy, like, glow, I guess, to your lips. So, okay, I'm gonna go back inside of the apartment again and get that bag for TJ Maxx, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, so I thought I would share with you all what I got from Fresh Time. So I got these potato fried onion pierogies. They're so good. So, 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 so good. They're exactly like a regular pierogi, but this particular kind is vegan and low in fat. We got some more of these field roast smoked apple sausage sausages, um, a box of mac and cheese. These are probably going to be eaten today, but these are, these are just some Texas barbecue soy jerky, basically. There we go. And that's the brand, Primal Strips. And then I got two bunches of kale also. I'm going to be um, sauteing that down. We'll probably have the pasta for a snack or I mean a lunch sometime um, and then I'll have the pierogi, sausage, and the kale for a dinner. So Alex is awake now and we're headed to Chipotle because we're addicts. There's really no other reason. I'm obsessed with tacos and he's obsessed with burritos. We're back home with our Chipotle now, and I got a sofritas bowl with um, brown rice, pinto beans, sofritas, corn, tomato, um, and lettuce. And then I have guac on the side, which should be interesting because I'm pretty sure I might be allergic to avocado, but it's been a really long time since I tried to eat avocado so I'm going to try and I might make myself sick but we'll see I'm not like deathly allergic or something it just makes me feel sick um, and then I have three crispy taco shells on the side I used to actually just get tacos but it would always make the bottoms soggy so I started getting them on the side and it's completely free to do that so why not do that and you actually get way more food from the bowl anyways So I just wanted to do a little pregnancy update for you all. Um, so I am 25 weeks right now. This is the bump. 
It's actually getting kind of big. I feel like I'm starting to actually look pregnant. <laughs> Before it was kind of more like, um, did she just eat a couple extra pieces of pie on pie day? Which I did. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but yeah, so this is all bump. It's super solid. I also just wanted to mention that I'm not sick from the guacamole yet anyways. I feel perfectly fine. At first I was feeling like a little, um, I don't know, just kind of like a little bit sick, like a little, like a little smidge sick, but then I'm feeling completely fine. I drank some water and I'm good, so I feel like maybe I'll start trying to incorporate avocado into my diet a little bit here and there so i don't really know but the last time i tried to have avocado and the reason i thought that i was allergic to it is because i for like three times in a row i had avocado and i was sick to my stomach i mean i'm talking like i was in the bed for hours i had to chug water to feel better um so I looked it up, like, why would avocado make you sick, and realized that it's possible to have a latex fruit allergy, which is linked to having a latex allergy, and I actually am very sensitive to latex, like band-aids and gloves, and so I don't really, I don't use anything latex anyways, I do already avoid that, and then I had always been eating avocado though, so it was really weird for it to just randomly start making me feel sick. And um, I think some other fruits that um, have latex in them or like are a latex fruit would be bananas, but bananas don't make me feel sick. Sometimes if they're too ripe, they will make my throat kind of itchy. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my body. I might just be sensitive to avocado, but you know, I really like avocado, so maybe I'll just deal with it. I don't know. 